In this calculus club video, we're going to discuss how to find a relative minimum or maximum of a function. This problem says let f be a function defined by f of x equals x to the third minus 3x squared minus 10. What value of x does f have a relative minimum? So for some graph, at the relative minimum, there will be a tangent line that is there. Okay. You also have one at the relative maximum. You have a tangent line there. So we can find out where these tangent lines are. We can find out where the relative minimum or maximum is. To find this tangent line, we need to find the derivative of the function and set that equal to zero. Whenever the derivative of the function is zero, those would be where the tangent lines are. So if we have x to the third minus 3x squared minus 10, take the derivative. 3 will come out front, reduce the exponent by 1, give us 2. Second term, the 2 comes out front, multiplied by the negative 3, so we get negative 6. And the exponent goes down by 1, give us x to the first power. And the derivative of a constant will be 0. So we have our derivative. Now if we set this equal to 0, 3x squared minus 6x equals 0. I can factor out a 3x. Give me 3x times x minus 2. In this case, either 3x equals 0 or x minus 2 will equal 0. 3x equals 0, divide both sides by 3, so x equals 0. Add 2 to both sides here, x equals 2. So either at x equals 0 or x equals 2 will be the relative minimum. Now to figure out which one, we're going to plug in each of those values into the original equation. So f of 0 will equal 0 to the third minus 3 times 0 squared minus 10. That's going to get 0 minus 0 minus 10 or negative 10 f of 2 will be 2 to the third minus 3 times 2 squared minus 10. It's going to be 8. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So minus 12 minus 10 is going to equal negative 14. And we want the minimum. So negative 14 is less than negative 10. So we have a relative minimum at x equals 2. And also we have a relative maximum at x equals 0. If we look at the graph at x equals 0, we do have a relative maximum. At x equals 2, we have a relative minimum. And that's how you find the relative minimum or maximum. Thanks.